waiting, 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 waiting on the trash truck, waiting, 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 waiting on the trash truck, cause this motherfucker loud, yes Jesus, this motherfucker loud. Hello everybody, E here, welcome back to Thursday Theorist, today we are talking about different seasons, yeah. Uh, this is by far my favorite of the Stephen King novella collections. Um, he's had some great ones. Some, some of them have come close, but this is easily my favorite. Um, it has The Body. It has Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. It has That Pupil. It has The Breathing Method, um, which is criminally, criminally underrated, I think. But I'm going to go through each one of these novellas and tell you why I like them, and then I'm going to connect them all to the Dark Tower. You know how we do around here. So first up, we have, I think, Hope Springs Eternal, which would be uh, Rita Hayworth and The Shawshank Redemption. Uh, I love this book, and it's one of those books where the uh, movie adaptation is just as good as the book itself, but I do prefer the book... Be um, like most readers, I prefer the book, but I enjoy the book more, even though experience-wise and as far as time spent, it's actually, you know, better to consume the movie because it does so well with the book, but the book is so comforting. I don't know what it is about that, and that's one of the things about all the stories in this book, yes, even the last one, there's a comfort to reading these stories that I have never truly understood and there is that there's a comfort reading earlier Stephen King stories that got lost along the way and that comfort is the stuff that's missing from stories like you know a cell and from a Buick 8 and Dreamcatcher there is no comfort there is no uh, no feeling that you're being told a story by an wizened aged storyteller um, or just a good friend. Uh, it's it's one of the other with King, really. So, Rita Hairwith and the Shawshank Redemption, of course, the story of Andy Dufresne, who is framed for uh, killing his wife, and well, I guess he's not really framed, he just, he just takes the fall for it, and he meets Red um, in the prison. Of course, the t in the title, the Shawshank Redemption, um, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. We're going to be talking about Shawshank Prison, which connects all of this stuff. Now, going on to the body. The body is a... Oh, hang on here. No, at pupil. I'm sorry. Summer of Corruption. At pupil, I am shocked that at pupil was not held off to the side and made into a Bachman book. It is probably the most Bachman story that ever bled over into the Stephen King world. And yeah, I know they're the same author, but there's a certain tone and feeling to the Bachman books, and Apt Pupil has that tone. I love it. I even love the Ian McKellen, uh, not Brad Dorff, what, what's the what, name of the kid that's in Apt Pupil down there in the doobly-doo? I ain't seen anything from him. I don't even, he may even be dead. I don't know. But leave, <laughs> leave his name down in the doobly-doo so people know who I'm talking about. But I enjoyed the darkness of it. Um, I've always been a fan of Stephen King when he gets extremely dark, and he did in this one. Of course, you know, one of my favorite Stephen King novels of all time is Pet Cemetery, and that's probably the darkest novel I've ever read. Uh, next we have A Fall from Innocence. Uh, we have, and if you guys don't know what I'm getting at, this Hope Springs Eternal Spring, uh, Summer of Corruption Summer, Fall from Innocence Fall, you know, it's different seasons, and then A Winter's Tale, The Breathing Method. Um, fall, fall from Innocent, well, sorry, The Body is, of course, about four friends who go out to try to find a dead body after, you know, one of, the, one of them sees Vern, his name's Vern, uh, he overhears his brother and one of his brother's hood friends talking about finding the body. Um, it is a terrific story. Uh, the, the movie is terrific also, but fun fact about the movie, the movie version is uh, Castle Rock, Oregon, and the book is Castle Rock, Maine, of course. Now, going back to, now I'm going to tie all three of these together real quick before we go on. I love the body. There's really nothing bad I can say about the story. Um, the Like I said, the movie's great, but moving on, I want to tie these first three in together. Castle, well, not, they're all mentioned they're all connected by Shawshank Penitentiary. 
Shawshank Penitentiary is noted in each and every one of those stories. And the body happens in Castle Rock. Well, the body happens in Castle Rock. Now that ties together a whole load of stuff. So, and you tie Castle Rock in with um, the Dark Tower with Gwend Gwendy's button box because Randall Flagg, or uh, somebody named RF, is in Gwendy's button box. So you bring all that together. But then at the end, we have... I got a trash truck in the background. Sorry about that. I can't do anything about it. Um, then at the end, you have the breathing method. Now the breathing method is special because of a quote. There's the quote for you. I opened my mouth and the question that came out was, are there many more rooms upstairs? Oh yes sir, he said, his eyes never leaving mine. A great many. A man could become lost. In fact, men have become lost. Sometimes it seems to me that they go on for miles. Rooms and corridors and entrances and exits? His eyebrows went up slightly. Oh yes, entrances and exits. Okay, so what I thought was a trash truck is actually logging people outside across from me cutting down trees. So it's going to be going on all day. I apologize if you can't hear me over the noise in the background, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with the beep beep beeps and everything. Um, so I tied together the breathing method there at the end, did I, to the dark tower because doors and entrances and exits. So is the club in the breathing method, well my theory anyways, and a lot of people's theories because if you go on to the connections forums you'll see this also, is that the club is on some level of the tower. Anyways, if I missed anything, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!